Hold on to your steering wheels, folks. We've got a wild ride ahead. Discover how Chinese EV makers are entering the US market. Remember when Trump was all about America first and slapping tariffs on everything Chinese? It was a time when the phrase made in China was almost a taboo in American politics. The administration was determined to curb the influx of Chinese goods, aiming to boost domestic manufacturing and protect American jobs. Tariffs were imposed left and right, and the trade war was on. Well, get this. He invited Chinese electric vehicle makers to set up manufacturing fabs right here in the US of A. Yes, you heard that correctly. In a surprising twist, the same administration that was so adamant about reducing Chinese imports decided to welcome Chinese electric vehicle manufacturers with open arms. The goal? To accelerate the growth of the electric vehicle market in the United States and to create more jobs in the green energy sector. Yeah, you heard that right. The move left many people scratching their heads. How could the same administration that was so focused on America first policies suddenly pivot to inviting Chinese companies to set up operations on American soil? It seemed like a complete 180 degree turn from the previous stance. The same guy who built a metaphorical wall against Chinese goods suddenly rolled out the red carpet for their EVs. Confused? You should be. Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. This unexpected shift in policy highlights the complexities and contradictions in international trade and politics. On one hand, there was a strong push to protect American industries from foreign competition. On the other hand, there was a recognition of the need to embrace new technologies and industries, even if it meant partnering with foreign companies. The decision to invite Chinese EV makers to the US was seen by some as a pragmatic move to ensure that America remains at the forefront of the electric vehicle revolution. Others viewed it as a betrayal of the America First principles. Regardless of where you stand, one thing is clear. The world of international trade is full of surprises. I bet you didn't know we're on the brink of a new era in the American automotive industry. Tonight, we're diving headfirst into the curious case of Trump's EV pivot. It's a head-scratcher for sure, but stick with me. We're gonna break this down last week tonight's style, and by the end, you'll be navigating the twists and turns of this story like a seasoned political analyst. Is this a strategic move or a potential threat? So, what's the deal with Trump's EV olive branch? Was it a genuine effort to embrace the future of transportation, or was there something more strategic behind it? The electric vehicle market has been booming globally, and many countries are racing to become leaders in this new era of automotive innovation. But why did Trump, known for his strong stance on traditional industries, suddenly show interest in electric vehicles? Was it a strategic masterstroke or a desperate attempt to jumpstart the American economy? The American economy has faced numerous challenges, from fluctuating stock markets to the need for job creation in manufacturing sectors. By pushing for electric vehicles, Trump might have seen an opportunity to revitalize American factories and create new jobs. The automotive industry is a significant part of the US economy, and a shift towards EVs could mean a surge in economic activity. Some say, it was a way to pressure American automakers to ramp up their own EV production. The US has been lagging behind other countries in EV production, and this move could have been a wake-up call for American automakers to innovate and compete on a global scale. By encouraging domestic production, Trump might have aimed to reduce dependency on foreign manufacturers and boost the local economy. Others believe it was a bargaining chip in the ongoing trade war with China. The trade tensions between the US and China have been a significant issue, affecting various industries. By promoting electric vehicles, Trump could have been trying to gain leverage in trade negotiations, signaling to China that the US is ready to compete in the EV market, 
This move might have been intended to secure better trade terms or to pressure China into making concessions. Whatever the reason, one thing's for sure. Trump's move sent shockwaves through the automotive industry. The announcement caught many by surprise, leading to a mix of excitement and uncertainty. Automotive executives were left scrambling to understand the implications, and the industry as a whole began to re-evaluate its strategies. The push for electric vehicles has the potential to reshape the future of transportation, and Trump's unexpected endorsement added a new layer of complexity to an already dynamic market. I don't think people understand how past diplomatic strategies shape today's decisions. This whole situation got me thinking about Nixon and China back in the 70s. Remember ping-pong diplomacy? Using sports to thaw relations? Well, this felt like electric car diplomacy. Maybe Trump thought, hey, everyone loves a shiny new car, even if it says made in China on the dashboard. What's something people don't know about the potential for US-China collaboration in the EV market? Section 5. The electric slide from competition to collaboration. Here's a spicy metaphor for you. Imagine the global EV market as a dance floor. It's a place where everyone wants to show off their best moves and the spotlight is always shifting. America and China were like two awkward teenagers trying to outdo each other with their fancy footwork. Each country was eager to prove that they had the best moves, the most innovative technology and the largest market share. But then, Trump's invitation was like cutting the music and saying, hey, why don't we try this together? It was a bold move, suggesting that instead of competing, they could collaborate and create something even more spectacular. Suddenly, the competition morphed into something resembling collaboration. Imagine the two countries, once rivals, now working together to push the boundaries of electric vehicle technology. They could share resources, knowledge and expertise leading to faster advancements and more efficient production processes. This shift from competition to collaboration could have far-reaching implications. For one, it could lead to a more stable and sustainable global market for electric vehicles. By pooling their resources, America and China could drive down costs, making EVs more affordable for consumers worldwide. Additionally, this partnership could accelerate the development of new technologies, such as advanced batteries and autonomous driving systems. With both countries working together, the pace of innovation could increase, bringing us closer to a future where electric vehicles are the norm rather than the exception. Of course, this collaboration wouldn't be without its challenges. There would be issues to navigate, such as intellectual property rights, regulatory differences and potential political tensions. But if these hurdles could be overcome, the benefits could be immense. In the end, the question remains, can America and China truly move from competition to collaboration in the EV market? Only time will tell. But one thing is certain. The dance floor is set, the music is playing, and the world is watching to see if these two giants can find a rhythm together. So, as we watch this dance unfold, let's hope for a future where collaboration leads to innovation and where the electric slide becomes a symbol of global progress and unity. Stay tuned for more updates on this electrifying journey. I'm sure you've heard the news. But what about American jobs? Analyzing the impact on American jobs. Now, I know what you're thinking. Revo. Now, doesn't this mean fewer jobs for American workers? And that's a valid concern. But here's the thing. Chinese EV companies setting up shop in the US means creating jobs here too. Think manufacturing plants, research facilities, and all the support industries that come with them. It's not a simple equation, folks. This is going to blow your mind. Will Chinese EVs dominate the US market? So will Chinese EVs take over American roads? It's too early to say. They've got a long way to go to catch up with established brands and win over American consumers. But one thing's for sure. The EV market is about to get a whole lot more interesting. Section 8. Start your engines. Let's talk. Am I the only one that didn't know Trump invited Chinese EV makers to the US? Join the conversation on this bold move. All right, folks, that's our take on Trump's EV curveball. What do you think? Was it a brilliant move or a colossal blunder? Head down to the comments 
and let us know. And while you're at it, tell us what other head-scratching political decisions you'd like us to tackle next week. Until then, drive safe and stay informed. What I wish I knew at 16. The future is now, and it's breathtaking. At Revo Now, we're your go-to channel for everything revolutionary. We're passionate about exploring the innovations, the breakthroughs, and the game-changing ideas shaping our world today. From mind-bending technology that feels like sci-fi, to scientific discoveries that push the boundaries of what's possible, we cover it all. Whether it's a cultural shift or a business trend that's set to change the game, we're on it. Our mission? To bring you the latest and most impactful advancements across tech, science, culture, and business, all in one place. So, if you crave the cutting edge and love staying ahead of the curve, hit that subscribe button, like our videos, and share them with your fellow tech enthusiasts. Stay curious, stay excited, and remember, the future is now with Revo Now.